you made it to page eight. Mysterious hospital visit for soap doc. Well, I'll be sure to send my mom a copy. They told me I have an autoimmune disease, like lupus or sarcoidosis. That's what we're here to find out. You're really as good as everyone seems to think you are. Are you really as miserable as everyone seems to think you are? I just want to do something that matters. Nothing matters. We're all just cockroaches. Will the beasts dying on the riverbank? Nothing we do has any lasting meaning. Don't you think I'm miserable? If you're unhappy on the plane, jump out of it. I want to, but I can't. Hmm. It's the problem with metaphors. We need interpretation. Jumping out of the plane is stupid. Well, what if I'm not in a plane? What if I'm just in a place I don't want to be? That's the other problem with metaphors. Yes, what if you're actually in an ice cream truck and outside are candy and flowers and virgins? You're on a plane! We're all on planes. Life is dangerous and complicated, and it's a long way down. So you're afraid of change? You're afraid to change. You'd rather imagine that you can escape instead of actually try. Because if you fail, then you got nothing. So you'll give up the chance of something real so that you can hold on to hope. The thing is, hope is for sissies. When I get out of here, I'm not going to be afraid anymore. I mean, how many guys get a second chance? Too many. Half the people I save don't deserve a second chance. Now that I've got mine, I'm gonna set things right. I'm gonna start by being a better father to you, and to your sister, and to your other sister. You realize you're reciting lines from last season. We're gonna do all the things I promised. Just help me get out of this bed. There's some cooling blankets in here. This guy's brain is about to boil. You know where you are? What's your name? Dr. Brock Sterling. Fever rules out autoimmune. He's septic. He's got a massive infection. We've got him on broad-spectrum antibiotics, but he slipped from delirium into a coma. Good news is, last time Brock was in a coma, he fathered two children. We need to identify the infection and get him on more targeted meds fast. What about pneumococcus? Causes heart problems and sepsis. Mm, but not the neuropathies in his foot and eyes. What about tetanus? It fits. He got a tetanus booster last year. Lyme disease? He would have been sore all over. There's a thousand infections that could have caused this. We can start testing, but he'll be dead before the cultures grow. Unless it's a fungus. You see that under a microscope. Test for fungi, parasites, all creatures great and small. Where are you going? To lie down. I need to think. Could be rat bite fever. His glands aren't swollen. Which one are you gonna get? She told me to get the one I want. So get it. Listeria explains the sepsis, possibly also the heart problem. But not the numbness. Listeria caused encephalomyelitis, which then caused the numbness. I want a waterbed. Wow. I've always wanted one. I know it's ridiculous. It's just, there's something nice about the thought of being rocked to sleep in water. No mocking? No Freudian analysis of how the waterbed is really a great big vagina I want to crawl into? I'm ignoring you because you make me sad. He's on ampicillin, which means if it was listeria, he'd have shown some improvement. Now, it's a whole thing. You need special sheets and insurance and... Who cares? You want to win your whole life? You're a grown-up. 
you can afford it. Stores sell them. Most adults don't go through life like you do, House, indulging our every whim. You don't deserve to be happy. And yet I am. You? Amber will think it's stupid. It is stupid. But the dream, Wilson. It's not an infection. It's an allergy. That's why it's not responding to antibiotics. This isn't a soap opera house. People don't just wake up from comas the second you give them drugs. Especially if we give them the wrong drugs. What did the test say? It was negative for fungus and parasites, but that doesn't mean... The more infections we rule out, the more likely it is that it's not an infection. He has no history of allergies or asthma. Most importantly, none of his symptoms remotely resemble an allergic reaction. Allergens could trigger an allergic vasculitis. That would explain the symptoms. One in a million times. A septic infection always explains a symptom. But an infection is never resistant to every antibiotic. No, an infection is rarely resistant. And allergy never responds to antibiotics. Never beats rarely. QED, I win. There were chrysanthemums in his dressing room. My God, why didn't you say you'd been exposed to plant life? Chrysanthemums contain pyrethrin. It's a neurotoxin and a known allergen. He has an infection. If we give him steroids, we'll kill him. He has an allergy. If we don't give him steroids, we'll kill him. Not as fast. Fast enough. You don't have time for the rest of the test. We have to do something. What we're doing right now isn't working. 100 milligrams methylprednisolone. Patient's names? It's one patient. You want to give one patient 100 milligrams? That'll jumpstart a car. Perfect. My patient's in a 69 Ford Coma. Anything over 50 milligrams, any Asana from Dr. Cuddy. It's protocol. And the inspector's here. I am 99% certain that she'll consent. But for the sake of the 1%, why don't I just... You're not allowed back here. Well, tell the inspector he can put it on my tab. I didn't mean now. milligrams of methylprednisolone is an overdose. We were wrong about the infection. He's suffering from a severe allergic reaction. The team hasn't finished the test for allergy. His symptoms don't... In rare cases... Trust me, at the end of this conversation, I'm right. Then confirm it. Get a blood test. What is it about this severe and deepening coma that makes you think we got time for protocol? Protocol has saved your patient from having his thyroid destroyed and his blood drained. If you think I'm wrong, Tell me I'm wrong. Don't talk about protocol. My job's on the line. Your job is on the line. Okay, here's what you do. You wait three minutes, then you call security. By the time they get in here and lock me up, I'll be done. He gets to live, your ass gets to be covered.